Hi everyone, today I am going to explain 747B special numbers. Let's call a positive number special if it can't be written as a sum of different non-negative integers, non-negative powers of n. For example, if n equal to 4, then 17 can be written as 4 to the power 0 plus 4 to the power 2. So 17 would be a special number for n equal to 4. Now what we have to find is the kth special number if all these special numbers of that n is sorted in increasing order or ascending order. And we also have to take the module of of by 10 to power 9 plus 7 because the, the answer would be really large and the constraints are till 10 to power 9 for both n and k so first of all let's take an example for n equals to 3 and check what's the pattern in this question we just have to find a pattern in this question and then it will be a very easy question so i have already written it here for n equal to 3 we have i have written a few special numbers so let's see the first special number would be 1 because it's, it, it's, it's the smallest, 3 to power 0 is the smallest, so first would be 1, then the next would be 3, 3 to power 1, then the next would be 4, which would be 3 to power 0 plus 3 to the power 1, then it would be 9, which would be 3 to power 2, then 10, then 12, then 13, then 27, and so on. We only need this much to find the pattern, so I have just written this much. So these all are special numbers which are in ascending order. Now let's take a bit set with all the bits set to 0. And only make those bits zero, those bits set that is one, which are in the power of the, that n. For example, for the first for one, we'll make the zeroth bit one, right? We have made the zeroth bit one. For the second example, we'll make the only the first bit one. We have to make the first bit one. The zeroth bit is the rightmost bit in binary terms, so that's why. And in the third example, we make the zeroth bit and the first bit one. So these both are one and we'll do it in each and every example so we'll uh, so what we'll get by this is if we convert these binary numbers into decimal we'll get first one then two then three then four then five then six then seven then eight and so on so what we'll see is the k special number if we take k equal to five right so the fifth number it's the first this is second this is third this is fourth this is fifth so 10th is the 5th special number for n equals to 3 and what is it? 3 to power 0 plus 3 to power 2 and what is 0 and 2? It's the set bits in the binary terms in the binary representation of 5. So if we take 5 in binary terms, the 0th bit and the 2nd bit is set. So we are taking the powers of 3 to power 0 plus 3 to power 2 and adding them to get our, to, to get our answer. So that's what we have to do in this question. For any k, we have to find which all sets are, which all bits are set in its binary form and take their powers and add them. For example, for k equal to 7, 0th bit, 1st bit and the 2nd bit is set. So we have to take 3 to power 0 plus 3 to power 1 plus 3 to power 2 and that would be our answer. So that's the whole logic behind this question and now let's see the code for this. The code is also pretty easy. Let me show you. Right. So first we'll take the inputs and then we'll initialize an answer variable to zero. Now we'll, we'll uh, make a for loop from zero to 32. LL is nothing but long long int. I've defined it uh, above like defined it long long int. So that's why we'll take i from zero to 32. Why I've done that because we'll check all the 32 bits in the number. And while we're taking only 32 bits or not, not 64 bits because the constraints are till 10 to power 9 and 10 to power 9 is contained in 32 bits only. So that's why we are taking only till 32 from 0 to, 0 to 31, 32 bits we'll check. Uh, and we'll check if the ith bit is set or not. How we'll check that? One left operator i. What we'll do, what it'll do, what it'll do is that if we take one left operator zero, this will be zero 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 one. If we take one left operator one, it will be zero zero one zero. So we can check if let's take uh, for example five, right? So the representation of five is zero one zero one. So zero one zero one. If we take and of these two numbers it will be not equal to zero because these two are one, right? So this will be not be equal to zero. So our if statement will come true, become true. 
and then we'll use binpa function binpa function is nothing but binomial binary exponential exponentiation we have used binary exponentiation to find the power of n to the power r2 because it's we have to use that because the constraints are really large and binary binary exponentiation is really useful for finding powers of large numbers i'll attach a link of cpl algorithm to in the description so you can check out how check out and read it in, about it in detail so then i'll add the powers of n to power i for one left shift one for i equal to one it will be zero zero one zero and five is zero one zero one this will be zero because this bit is zero in i the first bit is zero in i but it's one in the second so so that means one and zero will be zero so this would be zero so the first bit would be unset which is true because we don't have to take we don't have to take the first bit in fifth for k equal to five we have to say take the second bit not the first bit so this if statement would be false so then i would move to two when i would move to two it would be like zero one zero zero five is zero one zero one this will be again true because this would be not equal to zero and then we'll add three to part two in that and we'll do it do it up to 32 but all the others are zero until up till 32 so that would uh, that would be our answer we'll just add it to our answer and then in the end we'll mod it and give our answer so that's the whole solution for this question it was a good question i can say so thank you all